Hello guys, this is Infinim here, and uh, today let's talk about Conquest. You can see, requirements not met, probably because I took out some mods, I'm no longer 4 million GP. You can also see 5 out of 5 feats done, you can also see max rewards. So let's dive into how I made this possible. Alrighty, so uh, my roster right now is below 4 million GP. Uh, as you know, I made this mission of bloating my roster. I also made a video on that. If you want to, you can always check it out, of course, on how to bloat your roster over to 4 million. Uh, what I did was basically take some of the characters up on GP in regards to Fleer and whatnot. Uh, but let's talk about some of the teams that we had to use to go through Conquest now. Uh, as you can see, for my GP at 4 million, there's a lot of relic characters, and from there, the roster kind of dies off which is actually pretty useful for Conquest because it means that some of these teams can be really good in the game mode because they're just so high up there and there's not a whole lot of gear 12s. There, there are only three and I'm probably going to cut on one more gear 12 soon and take this bad boy to G13. But let's talk about the squads that I actually use for Conquest. Uh, I actually had these ones preset while I was going through the early stages, and then I had some that are more specific towards the feet. So let's talk about that stuff. Um, Kylo Ren, just himself, I'd have the other First Order team available if needed. Didn't use that one too much, too much to be honest. Uh, Gas file first, amazing team. Padme, amazing. I, I actually didn't end up using GMY a whole lot here, but I did end up using him with Padme more, more often than not. Uh, except for Sector 2. Uh, here we have CLS. CLS, what an amazing Conquest team this one is. Like, you stack these guys with the offense data discs and whatnot, and they actually slap. What Timbor's place is not with Vader in Conquest, it's absolutely with GG, because with this team, in case someone dies to, like, a weird Sabine basic or something, what Timbor just brings them back, and you still manage to get the three stars. And this team is also going to be your bread and butter for the marked feed. We can talk about that later. I didn't get to experiment a lot with Bad Batch, um, unfortunately. And for the Sith team, I actually had this planned out first. What I ended up doing was cutting out Treya and using Darth Revan in the leadership instead. But I did try this team out. This team also works fine. I just ended up liking the DR more. So DR, BSF, Scion, and then slap an Invader in DP or Vader and Sith Trooper. Because I got so... I didn't get a lot of views from this First Order squad, to be very honest with you. Uh, but let's talk about feats. So in Sector 1, I think you just need to go flawless, get a few crits, get advantage. Advantage is like First Order speciality, so SLKR works, crew works really well. Um, for Sector 2, you need to use a lot of Jedi. You can see that here, actually use 3 under gear Jedi for the game mode. And it's all about, you get Savior, you get a turn over to GMY, and you have that data disc whenever you get some buffs, you get some extra damage. That part is super useful. And then this team just starts to pop off. And this is what I used to get the Jedi stuff done. And it's not really a whole lot of gear on into Jikia or Bastl. Uh, then for the Sith, you know, I just plugged in my five best Sith. That's the team I rocked with for the most point in time for feats. Uh, Thermal Detonator, this team is weird. This team works. This team needs a lot of tries. And with the pliable cooling systems, you could spam the Greed away a wee more often than not. Here, you just have a lot of work to get Greedo done. I really don't advise this team if you have GL Ray. If you don't have GL Ray, you just gotta work with what you have. And this is what I have, and this is what I worked with. <laughs> uh, the, the idea of this team is just to get a lot of fractures out there on the AoE characters, try to get as many turns over to Greedo as possible, <laughs> control the enemy taunts, and just don't let them AoE because then poor Greedo dies. Uh, but as individual insurance goes, you have your crew that essentially permatons the whole time, so that part will help you out. Uh, especially with some entrenched discs as well, because then you actually have some extra uh, protection to heal back up with Watim Boar, and that keeps your team really healthy, so that is also very useful. Uh, GG, uh, GG is really useful for the mark, so he's one of the three characters that can apply mark in the game. You have Grievous, you have uh, JKR, and you also have Admiral Piet. These are your three options to go for the mark feed. And so you can get a lot of TM swap in over to JKR, get him to use as many marks as possible, or you go against the Galactic Republic and use a GG AoE, 
which takes off most of your protection. Your GG will be damaged. And you'll start applying taunts to his friends. That's pretty good. Because then he's taunting. So if you can... I mean, at this point, it's kind of late. You probably already got through the sector. But what I did was I actually had a couple of Galactic Republic teams I had to face. I had no option. I chose those, and those ended up being uh, pretty helpful. Speaking of Galactic Republic, in Sector 5, you or I think Sector 5 or Sector 4, it might be Sector 4, uh, you have to use uh, 10 uh, non-attacking squads without attackers. And so I used Shock Clones. Uh, so Shock T, Rex, Echo, and GMY are all supports, and Fives is a tank. So I used this squad to get me through those stages. Really deadly squad too, with the Rexel, it has definitely a lot of win conditions. Uh, if I wanted to use another Galactic Republic squad with what I have, I'd use uh, Padme, and i take off uh, Anakin here for like Fives or something like that. That would also work out, or Shock T even. Uh, that, that would also work great. Um, this Thrawn team is actually what I used to get the, um, the Ray feats done, which involve reducing 700% trade meter on the boss and whatnot. So this team worked out pretty well, uh, for that. Uh, we have Padme that got me the dodges with, between GMY, between the data disc that gives you turn meter and evasion whenever you, uh, and gives you base evasion that also helps out. Uh, the base evasion part isn't... Great. Sorry, the the third meter part from that data this doesn't matter with Padme, as Padme prevents you from getting any kind of turn meter. Uh, but it's it's good. It works out still to get the extra evasion and do the feat. Last but not least, CLS was an absolutely outstanding team, and it got me the the absolute amazing ending to it. So with CLS, I could beat SLKR without losing anyone, and that has to do with the build. Uh, that I might have here. Let's see. I don't think I don't know if I've messed with my builds afterwards or not. Uh, not conquests, where I probably need to know inventory. Should be this, right? Yeah. Uh, offensive buffs gains third meter, gains third meter offense, max damage. Yeah, it was it was something like this that I used against um, against SLKR. And what's the, the the pros here? You get offense up, crit damage up, crit chance up. Uh, you gain third meter when you're getting enemies below 100% health. Whenever you're gaining buffs, which you get from the offensive buffs part, you're getting third meter. You get more offense, you get more CD. Whenever you're applying debuffs, you're getting max health. Like, this is all, all pro damage. And what the, the goal here that I'd love to show you, but I, I can't really do a whole lot, but I really want to dive into this. Uh, it's you, you just mod CLS with as much damage as you can between CLS, Han, Chewie, and Chupio. And you just go Berserk on Hux, you kill him. And you start moving across to Stormtrooper, it, it counters should kill Sith Trooper, and it's great. The team just works fine. Now, I don't think I have the DPS to kill Hux here, and it, it, this will go wrong. Uh, and there's the like, you know, this, this is fine, this is acceptable. Like, you kill Hux. You, and you go from there, and like after a uh, 50 refresh, just trying out the team, it eventually worked out. Uh, but I don't know if I could have gotten that feat done any other way for this. Uh, the 500k points health is ridiculous. Uh, the score 20 critical hits in a row is possible with SLKR, but CLS is your best go-to option if you don't have a GL available. Uh, so yeah, that's what I used to go get my, my max box in Conquest, so pretty happy with that. Uh, could have even gotten a few more banners out of this, I guess, with this extra ray feat, but it was pretty tailored to just go for the max box and not do any more stuff. Uh, with Padme, if you have Sith Eternal or, you know, other stuff, CLS does this pretty well, but my CLS doesn't do a whole lot of damage. Maybe now I could do it, but again, like, I, I didn't get to that point, I just need to go get my max rewards and yeah, with the, the rest of this energy, what you have seen of other clips during the video, uh, we're probably used with this energy. So, <laughs> yeah, hopefully it helps you out with some extra ideas on what to work on your roster to actually get a, you know, a small roster for the hard game mode to actually do it. And I'll be very honest with you, a lot of my GP is not on characters. A lot of my GP is on ships and I don't get to actually use that GP here. So, you know, doable, doable. Just make sure that... You're working on the data disk setups, you're aware of which ones you want to go for. 
a lot of you know, a lot of stuff that gives you turn meter that ramps up your offense and the entrenched ones and the evasion ones those are decent data discs to go for and yeah go get your max rewards go get your commander ahsoka tano because she's gonna be amazing this character is gonna be amazing to have so definitely work for it worth it and razor crust you still get some shards out of that thing too so not too bad and uh yeah hopefully i i, I managed to pull the same feat haha <laughs> pun intended on the next conquest thank you guys so much for watching the video and i'll see y'all soon Bye bye